strong opinions and recently got into trouble when he insulted some French Canadians. Triumph apologized and as part of his contrition, he was forced to enter the no-spin zone. Here's what happened. So, uh, Triumph, uh, I yes. saw you at the uh, Democratic Convention. What would you think of it? Well, I was thrown out, as you know. My constitutional right to poop on and humiliate individuals was impinged upon. Yeah. Michael Moore sold me out. He, uh, he snuck me into your show and uh, gave me credentials. And then the second there was any objection, he's like, oh, Triumph, uh, he, he followed me in here. Yeah, he bailed on you. He and bailed he's, on me. Yeah, and he's he, supposed he to be a truth tailor. But I, I noticed you said your constitutional rights. Uh, what country are you from? You have a funny I, accent. I am in America. Are you telling me that foreign people don't have the same rights? No, but I was told you might have snuck born. across the border. I might have to make a citizen's arrest. <laughs> no! Listen, this is... I, I would never want such a talented individual to, to have to do such a thing, okay, right? So I'll take You're a very that... talented journalist, aren't you? Well, thank you. I oh, appreciate minute, that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're sorry. a man of uh, good taste. Who are you supporting for president? Who am I supporting? Please, yeah. please, I'm holding my deck. I mean, I'm sizing up both people, you know? Mm -hmm. I was at the convention. John Kerry was there. His speech was pretty good. What did you think, Bill? Let me guess. I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, I liked it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I thought uh, he had energy in his speech. Bill, I don't get it. This is not like you. you compl you're complimenting the Democrats? We're fair to everybody. You're, uh, oh, you're fair. Come on. Fair and balanced. I know right. you're a big factor fan, Triumph. You I can't am, uh, hide it. I know you're into uh, the fair and balance and the no-spin zone. If you had to critique the factor, I mean, honestly, you know, in the intellectual way that you always present yourself. Oh, yes. Well, what would you do? How would you put it? Uh, how would I put it? Oh, Bill, I, look, I, you're a very successful man. I mean, it speaks for itself. I think, Bill, you are probably the most successful person I know that nobody likes. I really believe that. <laughs> are you sure nobody likes me? Well, no, you know? I'm not sure. I kid. It's my act, Bill. It's my it's your act. act. I know. Look, but, I mean, Michael you, you, Moore likes you. Some people, some people say Triumph, yes. and I, I think I'm more misunderstood. I'm a lot like you. I mean, underneath uh, that um, rather um, it's bizarre presentation, I know that you're a good dog. Thank I know. You, I know you're a good man. Now, you had Ben Affleck on your show. Yes, you saw that. That must have been scintillating. Yeah. What well, do you I think mean, of I these thought he presented, actors? I thought he presented himself pretty well. Not as well as you are tonight, but exactly. pretty well. Exactly. Come on. These actors, they're not helping the Democrats. No? No, come on. They, they come out and they're like, oh, we know about politics. I, I really want to know what Ben Affleck is picking this year after he picked Geely and Pearl Harbor last year. Anything but else I, you'd like to tell our audience? See, we have a different audience than what you're used to at the O'Brien program. Those people are usually intoxicated. They don't understand the depth of your intellect. I but watch you, your show all the time, Bill. Yeah, I'm very intellectual. Most you'd be surprised. You're, exactly. You, that interview with Michael Moore... That was like WrestleMania. It was that compelling. <laughs> Bill, you let me like ask Michael you something. Moore. I could tell when I'm Michael Moore. I'm resenting him. When Look, Michael I wrote Moore, a book. When he brought you into the booth. No dogs, no truth allowed. <laughs> How Michael Moore betrayed a comic legend. I could tell you didn't like him when you walked into my booth with Michael Moore. I could tell you wanted to bite. No, I, I trusted him then. Look, I got Ann Coulter's legs up here to sell books. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> also got the... All right, Triumph. I'm, I'm out of questions here. Anything else you want to say? You got more stuff to plug? The best of Triumph. Best of Triumph. And what is that, about 30 Poo. seconds? Yes. Thank you, and good night. Uh, we'll wrap things up with the most ridiculous item. <laughs> and some of you, man.